Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to be going over how to use Radar Scope. Radar Scope is $10 to get on your phone, and it's a great radar for somebody who just wants to have a radar that they can look at when there is a weather event near them. Um, so when you first get Radar Scope, you're going to go in, and it's going to look like this. If you press this uh, radar mode up here, um, it'll show you all the different radars there are that you can switch to by just clicking on one, like that. And then there's going to be this marker. This marker is for drawing, annotating, you can circle things, do that. And then this button, if you press it, uh, it'll give you lo your location, like radar scope will move to the nearest radar, closest to your location. And then this tool is the distance tool. You can uh, make a marker, see how, um, see like how far away things are, things like that. And then this tool is the inspector tool. You can see like, uh, like how many DBZ there is, um, things like that. Um, and then if you go over here, you're going to see this little three bars. Click on that. You can turn on your the warnings. Um, you can turn on storm tracks, so it'll show you like arrows for storm. You can turn on reports, so this will show you like if there's a hail report or a wind report or things like that. Um, and you can turn on locations, cities, highways, things like that. You can change the radar brightness from down to high. Um, and then here you're gonna, it's gonna say warnings, so you can see all the different warnings there are. So there's this tornado warning, so if you just click on it, it's going to take you to the nearest radar so that you can see that tornado warning there. Um, and then if you um, press here, this will show you all the different radars for the different states. So you could search up, like, say, Oklahoma, and you can pick between these radars. Um, and then the location they're in is right next to it. Then here, um, it's going to have locations. You can add locations and stuff. Um, here is going to be your layers. We went over that already. And then here are your settings. You can change where you get your radar data from. Um, you can see TWRs, um, metric units. Uh, there's They have a tier 1 pro. You can change your color palette. Um, like Echo Top. You can change it. And then you can log in. Uh, and then all these different things. Um, and then... Here is going to be the main part of something you'll be using. There's a new. Okay. Um, here's a new thing you can. Or here's the other thing. You can do like a precipitation depiction. So you can see the precipitation levels. And then you can see super res velocity. So red is going to be moving away from the radar, and green is going to be moving towards the radar. So you can kind of detect, or no, green is moving towards the radar, red is moving away from the radar. If you kind of see there, that's, I'll use my marker, that's moving in, and then the red's moving away, and the storm is tornado warned, so you could probably see why. Radar indicated rotation. There. And then, um, you can also change to, say, you want to look at the spectrum width. You can turn on the spectrum width, and um, these are all super res, so you have the super res section for all these different things, and then you have uh, digital for all those things, and then uh, derived for all those things, and then classic for all those things. Um, and that is pretty much a radar scope. Um, you can get it in the App Store. Um, it's free to get. Or no, it's not free to get. It's $10 to get. Um, I use it. I love it. Um, so, yeah, please remember to like and subscribe so we can get these videos that we make out to more and more people. We will be live streaming at 1245 CDT to cover this severe weather over here. Um, the weather over in the area.
Um, uh, thanks for everybody who came and watched the stream last night. Um, thanks to everybody who subscribed, liked my videos, watched my videos even. Um, thank you. Um, have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.